Hi there, and thank you again for joining us on our weekly time together in this GCF Peel Talk. This week and for the entire month of October, I'm devoting our weekly GCF Peel Talk to discipleship. I'd like to tackle the cobwebs we often have about discipleship as most limit this great Christian privilege to leading and teaching. It's that too, but it's also so much more. Just as we focus on mental and emotional health last month, as a crisis that's plaguing our communities, discipleship or the lack thereof is a deepening predicament, particularly in our church, in our Christian churches and communities. We are desperately in need of disciples and disciples and the commitment to work together and disciple one another when it comes to the matter of growing and nurturing our walk of faith in Christ. I said both because disciples can only work with others who are willing to enter this relationship. And it is that a relationship. Christ issued that first call to the first apostles, calling them to come under his care and counsel. And for three short years, Christ shaped them to change the world as they surrendered themselves under Christ's divine influence. Let's take a look at this very simple prompting from the Apostle Paul. And he issues this appeal in 1 Corinthians 11.1. 1. Let me read to you this very short and simple instruction from Paul. Follow my example as I follow the example of Christ. And he issued this appeal, which is really an invitation to the church in Corinth, young in their faith who are struggling with so many different issues. This was not the first time Paul made this appeal. He did it first in chapter 4, verse 16, still in 1 Corinthians, where he practically says the same thing. Therefore, I urge you to imitate me. That word follow and imitate both mean the same thing, where we get the English word mimic, meaning following exactly as the original, which Paul pertains to Christ in this context. Christ is the ultimate example and figure that we ought to mimic in our Christian walk. I heard this verse expressed like this, follow someone only as far as they follow Christ. Let me repeat that. Follow someone only as far as they follow Christ. And that's what you read into this verse upon closer inspection. The boldness that Paul expresses comes from his confidence that he is faithfully following Christ. It is not arrogance, but acceptance of the great Christian responsibility of discipleship. It is also not about being blameless because that is impossible to do in the human flesh and nature. What it's saying is exactly what I mentioned earlier with Paul, really saying, follow me only as, uh, as far as I follow Christ. This also means examining yourself constantly, having an honest reflection on areas of your life where you need Christ more and more to change and shape you to be like him. And as you do, you can build towards that commitment to lead others in the same way that Christ took on that mission to show others the way for discipleship really begins with you and Christ together in a very personal and intimate way. And then the passion and persuasion to lead others will come next. So let's talk about this some more next week. See you then, God willing.